let me repeat that in case it got caught off. You can't do this illegitimate stuff where you got cameras in the trees, up there, here and there, and you're recording everything that I'm doing, and then you're using that as my defense, and then Q's would try to use that against me. You can't do that. So is the crown thing ever going to be legitimized? Am I ever going to be able to be with my real family again? Or are you going to double them out for the holidays now? I would be able to tell immediately because they all have certain things about them that not even the fucking government, CIA, or FBI would figure out. Mm-hmm. I think what everybody did to me is just disgustingly awful. And it affects my son and it affects my family. Why the fuck did you guys think that this was a good way to go? Because you were afraid. Did you see? Fear. And now that has become a sin. And it has become an altar of obsession for you guys. You feared you feared what was not even to be afraid of. And then I'm paying the price, my son, even my husband, is paying the price for your fear, your sin, your mistakes, your disgusting behavior. Why? There is no good enough answer to that. And that is why I'm pretty sure at this point we are probably going to turn around, go home, and drop the biggest motherfucking lawsuit on everybody. Because you know what? As we say, this person was involved and this person, and this, so we get phone calls and letters saying, oh, you need to add all these people too because this is what they did to you as well. You see how that works? It is a major motherfucking clusterfuck. We didn't do this, okay? Somebody did this to us, and I don't know why. I did nothing wrong to anybody, and that will be proven. But why would you guys allow this to happen? Have you been doing all of this bullshit, fake shit? What about the Clinton thing and the Monica Lewinsky thing? I think that all was fake all of it because there's certain things and I'm like wait why did they not prosecute the person for making that private phone call a public thing like that there's that there was so many things I'm like wait a second this is bullshit what because the real trial which is not related to Clinton's thing at all was going on behind the scenes here I'm starting to think that Clinton wasn't even a bad man, not even slightly. Yeah, I'm probably right, aren't I? So, you guys already have a system set up for this, don't you? Meanwhile, I'm breastfeeding my son, struggling to keep a household afloat, and being persecuted by asshole bitches in a fucking supposed born-again Christian church. What the fuck has been really going on? Oh, and now looking back, I know damn well we had this really weird dust problem at our house on Don Benito Street in Las Vegas. What the fuck was going on? We were being severely, severely dusted in there, and that is what made me sick. And that is what robbed me of enjoying my son's babyhood and his young years. Have you no fucking shame or sense? Oh my God, the U.S. government, the world, even celebrities knew more about my hardships and life more than me? This is disgraceful and disgusting. I am just so appalled at this. How can you guys just legitimize just doing this? And I'm seeing people comment who I don't even know saying things and calling me. I, apparently, every group has a code name for me. And I'm like, how about Noelle Rose? I'll settle for Noelle. I'm not all these other code names. 
I'm actually like a really nice good person who just wants to have fun and love on people, support the arts, perform in the arts. Just, oh my God. So I need to know what's going on. And you guys are going to be held responsible for all the loss, physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, our property, all of it. And you guys are just spinning these stories about, oh, mental health and all of this. Well, you guys are the cause of these problems. You're the ones that need the articles written on you for legitimate reasons and for real. And you guys are the ones who need to be held legally responsible for everything that has befallen us including the bitch sister that my husband has that keeps texting him awful things about me that aren't even true to brainwash him. Are they even coming from her? Or are they coming from a Q member who's really stoking the flames here? I would like to know. She's done it before. She blatantly lied about us for no goddamn reason. I don't know the girl. I housed her in my house while she got knocked up with twins not even married, and I wanted her to stay because I loved her, and my husband kicked her out. She's like, I saw where this was going. I did too, but I'm like, she's pregnant with twins. And she's, she's driving me crazy, but family pulls together, and she has the audacity to say lies about me. You know what? I think you need to call her up and tell her to knock it the fuck off and remind her how we gave her a house and we paid for her way. You know that? Yeah, I remember. Because how the hell does she know what's going on? We're not doing anything. We're stuck and stranded. Where's the Christian compassion? We didn't do anything wrong. I did her laundry. I, we va he vacuumed every day and I cleaned the entire house every day. So she wouldn't have to. So she show thank you. And we were there as guests. We didn't have to do that. We had this shit on video. We were protecting them. We had our security cameras up. So this is how it's on video, dudes. Nobody can backpedal or say shit bad about us because we have every single moment when we were there on video. We told them why. We said, we want to make sure you guys and we are safe here. And we said, this is what's been happening. Here, let us show you the videos of what's happening. It's a little concerning. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? You don't want to see truth and fact? There's no way to misinterpret somebody coming up to you, pounding on your window, yelling at you, and saying, you have to get out of here for no fucking goddamn reason. Or, or terrorizing you up and down the streets, chasing you, following you, yelling at you for no fucking goddamn reason. That, that's on video. The government has copies of this. I didn't do anything wrong. We were video recording to protect ourselves. So we're just gonna have to go home because we're running out of money. We're sitting here just kind of like, we, you know, what the fuck? I don't like this place. It is a city of snakes. There are some good people. How do you guys stand it here? A lot of people are nice to us here, though. They're probably cute people. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, do you guys want us to join Q? Is that what you want? I ain't going to do that, obviously. But, I mean, really, what is your intentions? And see, that's what official documentation has to tell us. What are your official intentions? You didn't send a shit. You know goddamn well if you sent a shit, it would have been illegal anyway because this isn't even a legitimate thing. Yeah, somebody's fucked and it ain't us. And we won't settle for somebody trying to frame and blackmail and do something bad to a good person because that's no better than what's being done to us. Okay, son, put these up first. Okay. Okay today's and then we'll backtrack and put the other ones up. I'm done. I'm just appalled. Okay. Bye. Oh, Noel Rose Anderson hyphen kale. 
stage name mixed with my real name. Noelle Ann Kale is my married name. Noelle Ann Charter is my birth name. The rest is my stage name, trademark, and Noelle Rose is a registered trademark. You guys are so fucked. Just, oh my god.